Today, South Koreans are dealing with the aftermath of the country's worst disaster in years. At least 149 people are dead after being crushed by a crowd during Halloween celebrations in Seoul. Yeah, let's go right to Chris Wolf. He's live from Koreatown now. He's got reaction from community members to the tragedy. Chris? That's right, Rick and Kareen, this is such a devastating tragedy and the death toll continues to rise seemingly by the hour. As you said at last check, it's 149, at least 149 people killed and another 150 people injured, some critically. This disaster has sent shockwaves around the world, including right here in Koreatown in Southern California. And I can tell you, this community is in shock. People are trying to find out as much about the victims as possible tonight. And remember, the area where this happened in the South Korean capital of Seoul is a very popular tourist destination. So visitors from around the world are likely among the casualties. Well, according to multiple sources, at least 149 people have been killed, mostly teenagers and young adults. They were killed in a crush when a massive crowd celebrating Halloween surged into an alley, a very tight space in a popular part of Seoul, the South Korean capital, known for its vibrant nightlife filled with bars and restaurants and clubs. The area called Itaewon is also a very popular tourist destination. Investigators and witnesses are calling this a melee, total, complete chaos. Observers believe something triggered a panic and people scrambled for safety. In the frenzy, people were crushed, suffocated, some possibly stomped to death. This was the first open Halloween celebration in Seoul in three years after government officials lifted COVID restrictions. Witnesses say people continued to pour into the narrow alleyway, which was already packed wall to wall. It is on a slope and people at the top of the incline started to tumble down over people below them. Some victims were trapped there for at least an hour before being freed by rescue and emergency personnel. A makeshift morgue was set up in a building near the carnage. We talked with a local community leader here in Koreatown this evening. Steve Kang has attended the Halloween festival in Itaewon in the past, but says the crowds exploded this year and he thinks he knows why. Was it very crowded then when you were there years ago? It was very crowded. It's always usually very crowded, but I've never seen it to this degree that I saw on social media. And you think relief from all of the COVID restrictions had a role in that? People just wanted to get out in large numbers and celebrate. Absolutely. I think Seoul is a, a city of 10 million people, and many of the young people thought this was the first major public open space party that they could really enjoy. And I feel, unfortunately, that um, that contributed to this factor. And also, Itaewon is a very popular destination for foreigners, so I'm afraid there might be some Korean Americans from Los Angeles that might have been a victim of this uh, incident. And we will have much more on this developing story throughout the night. For now, reporting live in Koreatown, I'm Chris Wolf, KTLA 5 News. All right, thanks so much, Chris. And please stay with KTLA for continuing coverage of the deadly crowd surge in South Korea. We'll have much more coming up in a full report at 530. Until then.